What's up guys, it's Dirty here, and this is probably my most anticipated game of the year. It is Halo Anniversary Combat Evolved, and basically it's a remake of Halo 1. And as you can see, they've the main new feature they wanted to introduce was, it, they put it on a Reach, en Reach engine, so it's got Reach graphics, but you can swap to the original graphics, which is what you have to play on. I mean, I'm a die-hard Halo fan. I've played Halo 1 since I was like year 5 or year 6 when it came out. I've gotten every Halo game, 100% in every Halo game, pretty sure. And when I heard that this was coming out, I, this is the this is an absolute must-have. And when you go through the game, you'll notice it's basically exactly the same, and that's what the creators wanted it to be. And I absolutely... Oh, man, I can't get over how much fun this game is going to be. I spent, I don't know how many hours playing Cobb Campaign last night. And as you can see during the game, you'll see me switch between the graphics, but I'll mainly play on retro, which is the graphics you're seeing right now, as um, you have to play on the original graphics. Now, what they introduced in the game was they brought back a couple of things. Um, the campaign's exactly the same. Uh, it's got the same missions. The enemies are exactly the same, where they come from. The same enemies, the same places as if you played the original game. And I, at the start, you notice that the cutscene the very very start cutscene which I didn't I um, wasn't recording when I was watching it um, that's in high def as you can see now like that's in high definition that's what it would look like but then I swapped it to retro because um, I love playing it in retro but yeah here's a quick little achievement here not part of the commentary but it just so happened that we got an achievement um, so yeah you can do co-op over Xbox Live it's only two person so it's the same as um, you could in the original Halo. The Magnum is extremely overpowered, like it was in Halo 1. And they brought back six new maps. Now, I haven't played any multiplayer yet, but I'm guessing it's going to be like Blood Gulch and all the classic ones. Um, and there's Firefight missions, so it's similar to ODST. So, oh, with ODST, there was the campaign missions, there was Firefight, and then a couple of multiplayer maps. And a good thing with the multiplayer maps is you can download them, you can play them on this disc, or you can also play them on the original, sorry, on uh, Halo Reach. So if you haven't, so for some reason if you don't have your disc with you and you've got Halo Reach, you can still play the maps because you can download them. So you've got the six uh, remade maps, but you can't swap to graphics or not, in the graphics now or not. Um, and one of the main things that I just love about this game is it takes me back to when you're a little kid and the game just came out and you're running around and you're not really into all the violent games and then, like, I remember when I was playing this at a mate's place, and um, his dad wouldn't let us play um, like a lot of the a lot, sorry for a long period of time, just because it was it was really violent, and it was, like it was one of the most violent games I think when it came out, apart from like Doom and other games like that. So when this game came out, I'd always go back to his place after school and we'll play it. And then when Halo 3 came out on Xbox 360, when I didn't have an Xbox, um, I would. Uh, go over to my place and we'd play Halo 3 and then I got my Xbox and I started playing on like a teeny tiny little screen and but oh yeah a little guide there don't pick up any overshield and you get a, an achievement just just a little hint so yeah I've finished three missions I think but yeah I'm loving the campaign this is like the most fun because Modern Warfare 3 is coming out I played lots of multiplayer in that I'm like nearly fourth prestige or something but this is one of the games I want to play hours on, and I reckon you can, because you can, I, I've done a couple of missions solo legendary, which is really hard, at some bits, that'll just take you a long time, um, but I usually just play co-op with a mate, so we're trying to get past that, and spent like four hours on the last night, time flies, because it just brings back all the memories of playing this game, it's so much fun, eventually, um, the mission where you get the, I think it's the third mission, when you get the sniper rifle when you're collecting all the marines. That sniper is exactly the same as it was in Halo 1, and everything is just, oh, man, I'm so, I'm so happy about this game. And the one thing you'll notice is, you see when the gold light flashes when they respawns, it's just like Halo 1. It's exactly the same. And it's just little things like that that just makes the game that much better. It's not better, just more enjoyable that they left it original, because they said they wanted to keep it as original as possible, and they have done that. I congratulated them on that, and this is a great fun game that I recommend to anyone who has grown up on Halo, 
and loves Halo, this is a must-have for your collection. Um, but with the additions of Battlefield 3 and even M-Dub and Saints Row, you'll definitely be playing this for hours on end on campaign. It's so much fun, it's very enjoyable. And as you can see, the Magnum is still extremely overpowered, as it always was in Halo 1. And the rocket launchers still look funny in retro. Everything looks funny, but uh, that's what it's all about. It's about playing this game how it should be in retro graphics. And all my friends are like, oh man, you should be playing in high def and stuff, but nah. You gotta play this retro, that's how it that's how you that's how it's brought up and that's how it's gonna stay for this game. If I reach any other new games, you can play on the new graphics, but I reckon it ruins it because there's too much. It doesn't. F it's more focused on the graphics than the gameplay. This one's more focused about like gameplay and just having fun. I mean, don't get me wrong. The graphics are great from compared to like this. Compare this to Halo Reach, and you can definitely tell how Xbox 360 has advanced, or Xbox and Halo has advanced in um, graphics and gameplay and design and game quality and all that. But if you're a diehard Halo fan like I am, then I definitely recommend playing this in um, retro graphics. So yeah, that's about it for me. The gameplay. I didn't record. I'm just doing some campaigns so you can just see what it's like. I haven't played any multiplayer or anything else. So um, that's about it for me. I'll put some more. I might do some achievement guides, even though most of the achievements are campaign based. Some of them are like um, go through a mission without dying. So I'll do some of those. So. Yeah, make sure to look at my, make sure you check my channel for new videos coming out, and make sure you click that subscribe button. And I'm out. Peace.